I'm gonna take a few seconds to teach you how to use custom gizmos and only see them when you're selecting objects that relate to that gizmo. Let's say you're programming an encounter for your game. And this counter has a list of transforms that represent spawn points for enemies in the encounter. And you want to see those spawn points in the scene view with a little gizmo like this. But if I'm not selecting the encounter, I don't wanna see them anymore. Perfect, I'll show you how to do that. So I've got an empty scene here and we have some spawn points as a child of that encounter. And I want to see those spawn points when I select either the encounter or one of the child spawn points. Is that a new script? Let's call this uh, encounter. And we can delete everything in this script. Let's make sure we're using Unity Editor and using system.link. And just write a method here on draw gizmos. Uh, this is inherited from mono behavior, so this will be run on its own. We don't need to call it explicitly. So let's include if Unity editor. This will make sure that the code is only run in the editor. And let's just start out by just drawing a gizmo. Okay, uh, so gizmos that draw icon, and we say where we want to draw the gizmo, and we give the path to the the icon that we want to draw. There's a list online of every icon that Unity provides as a gizmo. There's a link down below if you want to go take a look at that. All right, let's see what that looks like in game. We have a little uh, gizmo right where our encounter is located. We move the encounter, the gizmo moves. So that's a good starting point, but we want something a little more useful than that. We don't actually care where the encounter is. What we care about is where the spawn points for the encounter is for this example. So first thing I'm going to do is grab a list of all the transforms that we're selecting within the editor. So the way we do that is we take a list transforms and we'll set that equal to selection dot transforms dot to list so we've grabbed all of the transforms that we're selecting and we put them in this list all right let's just make a bool is selecting child and we'll set that equal to selection dot intersect transform dot get components in children dot any and what this is going to do is it's going to be equal to true if we're selecting this object itself or any of its children. Let's do a quick if statement, if selecting children is selecting child rather. And we'll do a for loop for each, transform t in this dot transform. And we'll write that gizmos dot draw icon line from before. But this time we're gonna use t dot position. And we're done. Open the scene back up. And now that we can see that all of our spawn points have a little gizmo drawn on them. And what's more, if we're not selecting the encounter, boom, we don't see them. They're not cluttering up our, our screen here.